good evening and i welcome you students chapter 15 improvement in food resources 9th ncert science what do you mean by improvement in food resources student naturally the first question is what are our food resources what are our food resources the you know living organisms all the living organisms need food what food we are eating we need food we need food supplies what are the food which we are eating student what type of food you are eating food provides you what what are the basic material which is present in the food in terms of the chemical composition you are saying uh, you are eating carbohydrates you are eating student fats you need fats you need proteins students the living organism needs vitamins and also need minerals so any living organism will need all these things for our growth for our health for our fitness we will always constantly need all these vitamin mineral carbohydrate fats the question is where do we get it where do we obtain this food you need food resources how do you obtain food resources from where you will obtain the food resources mainly in your country you are talked of agriculture there are agricultural activities which are important you are eating plants fruits vegetables animal also animal what do we call as animal husbandry so all these resources are there and we need to improve the chapter is on the improvement why do we need to do improvement student what is your answer so why do we why it is necessary to improve can you tell me why it has become necessary to improve our food resources what is your answer students because sir all the food resources may not be uh, pure and it may be uh, it may have chemicals and that is not our point we are not saying that did we say that anything we are not talking of adulteration students that's a separate issue but you are producing food you are having crops you are having plants you have trees different type fruit trees you are having different sources you you have fisheries you have chickens so much you you have animals like cows goats giving you milk the improvement is required because what is happening student the population is growing and what is our population present population tell me how much is it approximately 135 crore so you have crossed 1 billion box so you are saying 130 crore people now how will you feed 130 crore people you have to provide all these to all the 130 crore people now what how you are doing what you are doing basically you you have farmers or farming so farming is put, able to produce how much farming is done on the land the soil which we read and how much cultivable soil you have now the question is there is a need to grow because of the increase in population the food resources so how do we increase our production whatever crops you have whatever crops we are having students how to increase how to increase our production if our production is less how will we fulfill the demand of 130 crore people tell me it will be very difficult there are crops and livestock crops and livestock so we have to improve increase their production so the efforts to meet the food demand by increasing food production we have to increase our food production and 
we are aware that certain revolutions were arranged in our country students in order to boost the production of the food let us see what we are talking about what we are trying to say we know all living organisms need food food supplies are proteins carbohydrates fats vitamin mineral all of which we require for body development growth and health both plants and animals are major sources for we obtain most of the food from agriculture and animal husbands that's what we are saying yes sir certain revolutions were there in our country to boost the food production do you have any idea can you name any revolutions which took place in our country there are five year plans the plans they declare what they, what was that they talked of green revolution in our country green revolution so the main purpose was to increase the food production increase the food grain production there was another one do you have any idea what are they called as a white revolution in our country they talk the white revolution so more efficient use and availability of milk white is related to what production and availability of milk milk products all these revolutions were there but the important point is that we have discussed with you in the previous chapter natural resources you have certain natural resources right yes sir and you are using them you are using them and question is that there is a also we are destroying them and man is destroying them also so there is a balance which is being disturbed there has to be balance how much you are using and if you will destroy and if you will just exhaust all these resources then again there will be problems for us so we should increase food production without degrading our because they they are related with the environment so we should not degrade our environment we should not degrade our environment is so important we must not use it and this disturbs the balances which we are maintaining so there is a need for what we call as sustainable practices what do you mean by sustainable practices where in agriculture main is agriculture and second animal husbandry so we are talking of sustainable practices what do you mean by sustainable practices tell me when we say whatever practices we are adopting they should be sustainable they should be lawful they should be legal what it means that should be sustained they should not destroy the balances they should not disturb the environment they should not exhaust our natural resources completely so the environment has to be maintained the balance should be maintained we should not uh, disturb the cycles which are taking place or the different environment or we should not just halt destroy the soil for example or destroy the air by polluting it by water polluting it soil it was all these factors we studied because we are adopting certain methods students what methods you are adopting modern methods so if i i am using modern methods in agriculture or in any animal husbandry 
day practices should be sustainable you are now lot of research is going on on animals lot of research is done on animals but there are a question should we torture the animals the answer is no the point is whatever practices we are adopting they should be sustainable they should not disturb and destroy the environment they should not hurt the mother earth they should not replenish or exhaust our resources they should not exhaust our resources completely then they, we will have serious imbalances and would cause serious damage to our planet question number 1 is on the screen as we always talk of lectures we talk of question answer question answer what do you mean by improvement in food resources what is your answer student first question is put up to the students question number 1 what do you mean by improvement in food resources what is your answer what will you do as a improvement in food resources It means what to you to improve the quality and nutrition value of the food there is a quality of the food quality of the food means what the nutritional value what is the nutritional value of the food whenever i will talk of the quality i will talk of the nutritional value of the food what do you mean by nutritional value of the food tell me fast students how do you so that sir food uh, should be full of nutrition that is carbohydrate fats protein vitamin mineral all these things it should not be empty sugar only as you know okay what do you think nutrition value of the food second to increase the yield of the crops increase the yield of the crops this has become extremely important for highly populated country like india and every country is requiring now because more and more people are growing and we will need more yield of the crops to make food products and crops free from disease and pests the problem is lot of crops and food products are destroyed due to diseases and pests so crops and food products food products they should be free from free from diseases and pests am i right yes sir okay they should be free from diseases and pests fourth to reduce the cost of the food products and increase availability and increase availability to reduce the cost of the food products and increase availability quality of the food increase the yield of the crops crop and food products reduce the cost of the food products and increase availability if the food is costing very high then what happens if the cost of the food is very high what will be the result of that naturally we will not be able to buy it so we don't need that so we need to reduce the cost of the food products and increase the availability so that is what we mean by food resource questions are always asked like this so we should be prepared for answers this question certain question need writing description so we have to write whatever are the most important points should be written first because depends on how much marks have been allotted and we have to continue the question number 2 was asked to the students as it is important that what is the need of what is the need of food resources in india what is the need of food resources what is the need of food resources in india what answer we are giving
question number two. What is the need of food improvement in India? For the following reason, we need to boost the food resources to increase nutrition value, consistency of the wood, keeping the food and crops free from disease, free to reduce food product cost and increase the availability. Because why do we want to do this? Because tell me what is the story in India? Because you have large population growing. Yes. So as for the because our population is very large and growing. Population is large and growing. Therefore, what will happen? It is a large population and it is growing. Then we will need uh, uh, more than quarter of a billion tons of grain every year. We will need Actually, our country need more than they have a figure which they are saying more than a quarter of a billion. Quarter of a billion. Billion tons of grain every year. So, how will we meet that? How will we fulfill this? So we will need more land for farming. But already our land is highly and extensively cultivated. So there is not major scope for increasing area of land under cultivation. Therefore, it becomes necessary to increase our production efficiency. Production efficiency. So what is required? There is something called production efficiency. Production is there, but efficiency to be increased student but we have crops and livestock livestock how to improve production how to increase their production efficiency needs to be increased needs to be increased without degradation of our environment important the environment should not be degraded. So, we are saying without uh, degradation of our environment. Without degradation of our environment. And disturbing, without disturbing the balances, eco-balances. What are the important food resources? Question number three is on the screen, student. Everywhere, think and answer the questions. What are your important food resources? What do you think you have food resources? What are your important food resources? What is your answer? Sir, agriculture. Agriculture. Basically, what is you, my requirement or your requirement or any organism? It needs material food for the growth development of the body. So, what you are taking, what food we man is consuming, supposing uh, consider the man, what we man is consuming, both we are taking plants and animals. So, agriculture is one you are saying. What do you do in agriculture? There are crops. You are planting trees, crops, all this. So, agriculture, farmers, farming, whatever you are doing. This is our main source. Main source in our country. Then, what are the live stocks which you have? Fisheries, you know. Poultry farms, you have seen the poultry or heard the poultry farms? Yes. Sir. They are 
एनिमल वेस्ट सो ऑल दिस इज अवर इंपॉर्टेंट फूड रिसोर्सिस सो वी हैव टू इंप्रूव what we want to improve we are saying improvement in food resources so we have to make methods techniques in order to increase improve this improve this how do we do that because simply increasing the grain production in grain production for storage in warehouses cannot solve the problem of malnutrition and hunger people should have financially money to buy the products availability of food if food is available only for rich people and not available for those who do not have money then again problem is there so majority depends on agriculture for their livelihood so increasing incomes of people which are working on agriculture fields is necessary to combat the problem of hunger scientific management practices should be taken scientific management practice should be taken because that is become important scientific management practices now coming to the point what are food resources explain world food problems what do you think are the problems in the world about for food food world problems is there a food problem have you seen any news like that oh, people are starving of hunger in many countries of the world there are malnutrition and children are dying in many countries of the world poor countries you have seen yes which countries recently you have seen even in afghanistan they have shown children are dying and in many african countries or somewhere you have seen in certain people are having very poor and they don't have food children are not getting food human beings need air water food to survive but food is an important material for growth and functioning of the body main resources are mainly crops providing what are the crops which what crops are providing rice wheat maize etc there are vegetables and fruits different type of fruits all we need so the main food problems food production agriculture where is it all this you are growing pulses das bajra everything you are eating fruits different type of fruits you need seasonal fruits are there all this you are taking what else is happening what is the main reason of the food problem in the world what is the problem in the world student food problem again we are talking of the population explosion is one of the major causes of food problem in india there is less food production compared to demand food production one is food production and you have a demand student this is a less demand is more then what will happen this will lead to a food problem efforts to meet the food demand by increasing food production have led to some success so far we had green revolution contributed to increased food grain production we also had white revolution led to better more efficient use of availability of milk however these revolutions mean that our natural resources are getting used more intensively so what is the problem student the natural resources 
are overused students. What will happen if they are overused? This will cause damage to the natural resources. There will be damage to them. And this will destroy, destroy the balance which has been their eco balances and other balances, cycles are there, they will be disturbed. So we should increase food production without degrading, without degrading our environment and disturbing the balancing which must be maintained. That's what we talked of, that need for sustainable practices. We are talking of three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. Don't want to throw away waste of things. Garbage, everything, uh, and everything is a garbage otherwise. I use it, anything, where it ends, garbage. If I can't reuse it, can't recycle it, then again, where it will go. So this will degrade, degrade the environment, students. And whatever revolutions are taking place, that poses a great challenge for us, that it should be balanced and sustainable. It should not disturb the balances, environment, and it should not exhaust the resources completely. That is not healthy. So there is an ever-increasing need for food in the world. Has there ever the food demand decreased in the world? Tell me. No, sir. There is a need for food in the world. Need calls have increased. What it means? Are there more men? Or are the man is now start eating more than what it used to eat? What we can say? We are eating less, now we eat more. Is it true? Well, is that yes, true? Sir. Yes. Earlier, maybe people are not eating that much now. We think people are eating more than required because they see more food things around them. And when they see more things around them, then naturally they will eat more. So environment is important in many ways. Increasing need for food in the world and need calls for increased production of staple food items. Staple food items. The method that results in high yield of crop should be sustainable. Uh, again, we are saying you are looking for high yield of crop, but it should be sustainable. Word I am using sustainable. Why? Tell me what is the need of sustainable? Every product we have sustainable. What it means? Understood? Yes, sir. What it means, tell me then. It shouldn't cause any damage to the environment. It should not damage. So that towards the environment should not involve chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Now, again, we are saying it should not involve, but we know we are using chemicals and fertilizers to increase the yields. The best way would be to induce changes in the plant that result in high yield. Now, what, has, what do you mean by induce changes in the plant? Can we induce changes in the plant? Important research project now. What do you think? What we mean by induce? What are they are doing nowadays? Cross hybridization or genetically changing the crops, plants, and producing new crops by mixing. So many techniques are being used. So they are saying induce changes, induce changes in the plant that result in high yield. Certain plants yield more, certain plants yield less. So this is a project to study which one will give more and that, that should be what we should adopt. Then what is the further problem students? What is the problem? A very interesting topic because it is related to our food productions and food resources. And we are trying to find how we can boost that without disturbing or degrading the environment. It's an important point. What we are saying, simply increasing grain production for storage in warehouse. If you increase the grain production, what is done? You have more grains. What will you do then? Store them? Where will you store them? There are warehouses. Does it solve the problem of malnutrition and hunger? 
you have godowns store it but people should have money to purchase it food security depends on availability of the food access to it I, food is there it is very costly then i cannot buy it you think apples are 300 rupees kg now how many people are able to buy it how many can eat every day tell me so if the food is very costly then what will happen but people can't purchase it so majority of our population depends on agriculture for their livelihood increasing the incomes of people working in agriculture necessary to combat the problem of hunger a question was asked to the students that if we increase the grain production is that enough will it solve the problem of our food resources the answer is no the income of the people has to be increased and how will you do that then scientific management scientific management practices scientific man management practice should be undertaken what are those scientific management practices the next target is that is our chapter in this do you have any idea what scientific management practice are being adopted mixed farming some of the methods which are being used are mixed for farming inter cropping integrated farming practices then combine agriculture with livestock poultry fishing bee keeping you know you have seen bee bees you know there are villages in india where there is a lot of bee keeping how much what is the what, what do you get from bee keeping what are we getting from bee keeping students you are you know honey bee fishes fishing yes sir poultry what poultry you are having you are having what type of poultry you have seen lot of chickens are there all other goats are there those cows are giving milk buffaloes and all that so we have all these which man requires the question will be now student how do we increase the yields of crops and livestock that is the question question come to you how will we do it how will you increase the yield of the crops and yield of the livestock those countries who will do that will become rich and they will be able to manage and improve the food resources so we have to adopt those practices and what we are saying scientific management where science is used students why we use science what is the application that is the most important point every time we are saying why do you why are you studying all this science and another question always said that this is because we will apply it student in our everyday life and improve our life style and get more production whatever we want and the cost as we have seen economic standard of the people is important if we don't have things become very costly then we cannot buy them and then we cannot use them and everyone should have sufficient money to buy the whatever 
farming is producing whatever livestock are there which man is using all this and we have to improve methods scientific methods to be used to increase the yields of crops and livestock no down everything interesting to see so the first important point which is coming student is improvement in our crop yields the question is what are crops student i am saying increase the crop yield tell me what do you mean by crop what is a crop student the plants which are grown plants grown on larger land area to provide food crop they are plants but what type of plants there are plants which do not give you food there are plants that also which are grown on a larger land why will you grow anything on a larger land student to provide what it gives food so food will come from where crops now how will we improve the yield of the crop then what are the factors that affect the growth of the crops then we should know the factors which affect the growth of crops tell me right or wrong yes the crops are grown depending upon the seasons you know now you learn are there different seasons for different crops tell me yes sir crops are seasonal yes or no yes sir even in fruits you see in certain season you see more fruits cold storage is a separate issue now we have methods to store them you have any idea which seasons which crops grow knowledge we have to learn student that's our point the learning will help us everything is not that we have to pass an exam then we have to just few students are solving 10 questions from a book and they will pass the exam then we have no knowledge what is the use of that and next year they are going to higher classes and they don't know here we are learning we have to apply we have to think and we have to find the practical uses in our everyday life and every word we write has a meaning we should understand it and we i i will try to cultivate the habit that students should learn more read more learn more how will i learn more <laughs> without reading can i learn more so if i want to learn more i have to read more i am saying learn more and student told me sir how will i learn more i said you read more tell me then i said you think more am i right yes sir if i why do i teach i if i stop teaching no problem i can do that but then i will not learn anything my learning will come down why because i will not study i will not uh, read and i will not think then i will sleep on the beds lot of people are doing that lot of people are doing that lot of children are doing that you have seen lot of children are sleeping still they, they are saying oh schools are closed and therefore i have to made a video to motivate the children to go back to school why did you see that in my youtube yes why did i do that because they they were not doing anything the parents told me that children don't are just becoming lazy and they are just satisfied to be at home because they are playing their video games so i thought it is better to go out the field and play rather than playing the video games or all the time left of what it will be nothing you have to learn you have to play you have to have production you have to have energy and you have to come out of the comfort zones that is what our target is 
so we understand crops are grown depending upon the seasons we will learn about this also which crops grow in which season this important point we can try to learn that also what are cereals student you have heard about cereals वो कहता है ईट ईट द सीरियल्स सीरियल्स एक बच्चा पूछा क्या खाते हो कहता है सीरियल खाएंगे व्हाट इज अ सीरियल स्टूडेंट व्हाट आर सीरियल्स व्हाट आर सीरियल्स स्टूडेंट ओके टेल मी फर्स्ट यू टेल मी व्हाट सीरियल्स यू आर टेकिंग सर पल्सेस सीड्स और ग्रेन्स ऑफ ग्रासेस Seeds or grains of grasses that are cultivated in order to obtain largest quantity of their food. Seed, which consists of germ, endosperm, and bran, it is also referred to as caryopsis. Important cereals. What important cereals in our country we eat? Important cereals which you eat in India in our country. Give me the names of few of them. these are seeds or grains of grasses wheat rice sabse zyada kya khate ho wheat yes sir ye wheat bahut zyada khata hai hamara country mein roti to teen baar kha rahe hain hum sab am i yes, right sir kis ki roti hai wheat kha rahe ho bahut zyada kha rahe ho rice kha rahe ho a lot of people eat rice three times a day you know about that yes sir ये खा रहे हैं सांबर बड़ा इटली बार बार सांबर राइस सांबर राइस खा रहे हैं लेकिन ये यू नो इफ आई कीप ऑन ईटिंग ऑल दिस द होल डे एंड इट इज एक्सेस नाउ वी अंडरस्टैंड इट अर्लियर वी वर नॉट सेइंग इन अवर टाइम दे वर सेइंग हाउ स्ट्रांग यू आर हाउ मेनी रोटीज यू कैन ईट ओनली 1 2 3 नो ईट मोर 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 व्हाट विल हैपन इफ आई कीप ऑन ईटिंग ओनली दिस 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 now we understand the body has a system student body the body needs balance anything if i will eat an excess that will add to sugar nothing else so rice if i eat three times rice a day then again after 40 i will have diabetes or other problems because it is containing starch how much starch will give me sugar how much glucose i will put in my body chini hai khate jao कितनी चीनी बॉडी ले लेगी मेरी अरे सारी बॉडी में चीनी निकलेगी टेस्ट करवाऊंगा तो ज्यादातर लोगों में ये प्रॉब्लम है इफ टेस्ट विल बी डन मैं बहुत चीनी निकलेगी शरीर में यही इंपॉर्टेंट डिसीजेस वी नो नाउ ये जो वाइट शुगर है स्टूडेंट ये बहुत कुछ करेगी and 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 cancer could be there so all these things are there. so rice hai wheat hai maize hai ye maize kya hai oats bahut kha rahe hain aajkal log kha rahe hain oats barley rye millet is tarah se kuch aise naam jo humne kam use kiye hain wo bhi aa gaye theek hai we we now all these are cereals मार्केट में सीरियल्स के पैकेट्स भी बिकते हैं आपने देखा होगा वो स्पेरियल के पैकेट डालते हैं मिल्क डालते हैं खाते हैं कई चीजें डाल रखी तो ये सब सीरियल्स हैं हमारे कंट्री में तो इनको मिक्स करके खाएंगे तो ठीक रहेगा मिक्स करके बिकॉज दे हैव डिफरेंट थिंग्स ओके इम्पोर्टेंट सीरियल्स का पता लग गया वाट अदर इज देयर पल्स आपने बताया ये पल्स वट इज द पल्स इज अ टाइप ऑफ लेग्यूम क्रॉप लेग्यूम क्रॉप पल्स ये टाइप ऑफ है लेग्यूम क्रॉप ये लेग्यूम क्रॉप क्रॉप्स की बात चल रही है लेग्यूम क्रॉप है मदर टर्म पल्स रेफर्स टू ड्राइड सीड ये ड्राइड सीड्स होते हैं एग्जांपल्स ऑफ पल्सेस इंक्लूड बीन्स पीज ये ड्राइड बीन्स हैं सच एज पिंटो बीन्स किडनी बीन्स नेवी बीन्स ड्राई पीज लेंटिल्स लूपिन पीनट्स ये सब आपने देखे पीनट्स 
mag means golden gram green gram तो ये किस में आ रहे हैं सब पल्स में वट इज द मेन पर्पज ऑफ पल्स क्या प्रोवाइड करता पल्स प्रोटीन तो पल्स से हमें मिलती है प्रोटीन द इंपॉर्टेंट सोर्स ऑफ प्रोटीन आर पल्स दे ग्रो क्विकली जनरेट गुड प्रॉफिट फॉर फार्मर्स ऑल्सो कंट्रीब्यूट टू एग्रीकल्चर एंड एनवायरमेंट सस्टेनेबिलिटी ऑल्सो so the legume crop is very important because it is also environmental sustainability so these some crops bahut achhi hain hamare liye they are good because they will provide us lot of proteins which are required for the growth of the human body so proteins ka pata lag gaya another question is on the screen what are fats and give examples so jaldi se bataiye aapko do minute ka waqt hota sochna hai फैट्स व्हाट फैट्स यू आर ईटिंग कौन से फैट्स हैं आपके पास जो आप यूज कर रहे हैं स्टूडेंट्स सर मिल्क बटर तो बटर आप खा रहे हैं ऑयल भी आप खा रहे हैं नट्स भी खा रहे हैं मीट भी खा रहे हैं फिश भी खा रहे हैं डायरी का मतलब या मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स हैं जो भी लेकिन दो टाइप के फैट्स आपने सुने सैचुरेटेड एंड मोनो अनसेचुरेटेड एंड ये पोली अनसेचुरेटेड फैट्स मतलब बेसिकली वी टॉक ऑफ सैचुरेटेड फैट्स एंड अनसेचुरेटेड फैट्स तो ये कह रहे हैं ना कि बहुत ज्यादा फैट्स मत खाओ कहते हैं बिकॉज टू मच फैट इज नॉट हेल्दी लेकिन यहाँ पर भी वराइटी है ये मोर अबाउट देम की वट यू थिंक विच फैट्स आर बेटर सैचुरेटेड और अनसेचुरेटेड सुना है इनके बारे में हमने ओके अनसेचुरेटेड फैट्स आर मेनली ऑयल्स ना दे आर बेटर देन सैचुरेटेड फैट्स आर वो जो घी बन जाते हैं ये प्रोसेस करना पड़ता है अनसेचुरेटेड फैट्स को इंडस्ट्रीज में तो वो क्या करते हैं कि जैसे वेजिटेबल ऑयल जैसे है उसको वनस्पति घी वनस्पति घी में कन्वर्ट करते हैं तो ये सैचुरेटेड फैट है दिस इज स्टूडेंट सैचुरेटेड फैट और ये अनसेचुरेटेड फैट तो एक पॉजिटिव कोलेस्ट्रॉल होता है कि नेगेटिव जैसे कहते हैं हेल्दी कोलेस्ट्रॉल और एक बैड कोलेस्ट्रॉल गुड कोलेस्ट्रॉल और बैड कोलेस्ट्रॉल तो ये वाले जो हैं ये पॉजिटिव हैं दिस आर पॉजिटिव ऑयल्स जो होते हैं वो कहते हैं एज इट इज प्लांट्स से जो एक्सट्रैक्ट हम करते हैं वो पॉजिटिव होते हैं और ये बैड वाले होते हैं बैड फैट्स होते हैं तो बैड फैट्स तो फैट्स तो चाहिए ही हमें बॉडी के लिए वी नीड फैट्स इन आवर बॉडी स्टूडेंट तो ये जो बटर ऑयल घी वगैरह जो भी कुछ खा रहे हैं डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स खा रहे हैं ये सब इसी में आ रहे हैं फैट्स और प्रोटीन इसमें आ रहे हैं तो स्टूडेंट स्टोरी क्या रही है अभी तक वी आर सेइंग सीरियल्स सच एज व्हीट राइस मेज मिलेट्स एंड सोर्गम प्रोवाइड अस कार्बोहाइड्रेट तो सीरियल्स से हमें क्या मिलता है मेनली कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स व्हाट आर कार्बोहाइड्रेट सब शुगर्स ही है ना कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स तो कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स जो होते हैं ये एनर्जी प्रोवाइड करते हैं हमारे बॉडी में कैलोरीज जो कैलोरीज कैलोरीज की बात करते हैं और जो पल्सिस हैं एक सीरियल लिखा फिर पल्सिस में लिखा तुमने ग्राम चना मटर उड़द ग्रीन ग्राम मूंग ये सब पल्सिस जो आप कह रहे हैं ग्राम चना जिसे चना कहते हैं इस टाइप के जितने भी हैं ये मेनली आपको क्या दे रहे हैं प्रोटीन स्टूडेंट दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग विद प्रोटीन और ऑयल सीड्स इसमें कौन कौन से हैं सोयाबीन सीसम सीसम ऑयल सनफ्लावर सनफ्लावर सुने आपने सनफ्लावर ऑयल सीड्स तो ऑयल जो सीड्स हैं सोयाबीन ग्राउंड नट ऑयल ग्राउंड नट ऑयल ये सब सुने आपने ग्राउंड नट 
तो ये दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू फैट्स ये सब फैट्स दे रहे हैं आपको और क्या खा रहे हैं आप वेजिटेबल तो वेजिटेबल्स एंड फ्रूट्स आप डेली खाते हैं ठीक है तो ये इनमें बहुत सारे रेंज ऑफ विटामिन होते हैं और भी बहुत कुछ है देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इन द फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल और फिर इनमें प्रोटीन्स भी होते हैं कार्ब कार्ब्स भी होते हैं फैट्स भी होते हैं ये स्मॉलर अमाउंट में होते हैं स्मॉल अमाउंट्स में फ्रूट्स में और फूड क्रॉप्स में कुछ फॉर्डर क्रॉप्स हैं बरसिम ओट्स एंड आर रेस्ड एज फूड फॉर लिव स्टॉक तो जो हमारा लिव स्टॉक है उसके लिए भी हमें चाहिए होता है तो उसे क्या बोलते हैं फॉर्डर क्रॉप्स तो फॉर्डर क्रॉप्स किनको चाहिए जो लिव स्टॉक है वो क्या क्या है ओट्स बरसिम सुडन ग्रास ये हम लगाते किन के लिए हैं जो हमारे लिव स्टॉक है उन, उनको भी चाहिए तो दिस इज द कंप्लीट फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस कि वट आर अवर फूड रिसोर्सिस डिफरेंट फूड रिसोर्सिस प्रोवाइड टू अस कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स प्रोटीन्स फैट्स एंड वट इज द प्रॉब्लम एंड वाई डू वी नीड टू इम्प्रूव अवर फूड रिसोर्सिस so we end up the first lecture here student it's a very important and interesting and then we will continue more about it it's a very important topic in the next lecture we'll proceed further now how will we improve our food resources that will be our next lecture okay i hope you understood everything and had sufficient and lot of information and knowledge recorded videos are available to be shared with friends with parents all these topics are our application in everyday life therefore they become necessary for every parent also to go through our video lectures and learn and apply it in our everyday life okay bye bye see you next time thank you sir